Hi everybody, it's time for another episode of my updated for 2024 Beginner's Guide to Daisy Console Community Server Modding, although of course this does apply for most PC server modding as well. And in this one, we're going to look at how you can change the temperature of your server. I'm not talking about the server itself, that computer box that's in a server warehouse somewhere a nitrado facility I'm talking about the actual ambient air temperature as players wander around so you could actually make it harder because it's colder or maybe easier because it's warmer but before we start i'd just like to remind everybody that in the description below this video there is a link to the playlist that has all of these updated for 2024 20, beginners guides and a previous and next video link i've tried to record them in a logical order you know, so that if you are modding your server, you know, you're know you new to this, you've just bought a new server, or you just want a refresher about the different things that you can do, you can work through them in order and it will all kind of make sense and each thing kind of builds upon itself. But let's dive in and let's see how you can adjust the temperatures. You want to go over to Nitrado, log in, click on the web interface for your server. That will take you into the dashboard and then we want to go into the uh, general settings first and you need to make sure that your cfg gameplay.json file which is right at the bottom here is enabled so you tick that and you save that that this file is probably going to be enabled all of the time anyway then we want to go on the file browser so click on file browser and that will take you over to here and then we want to click on Daisy XB missions if it's an Xbox One, Xbox One, PS missions if it's PlayStation missions if it's PC. So you click on that and then go through to Daisy Offline Plus or Enoch if it's a Livonia server. Or we'll have that new map, won't we? Maybe by the time you watch this video. Um, I don't know what that would be called though. And we click on this. And then we scroll down until we get to the CFG gameplay.json. Now we click on this. Now, I don't always recommend editing this file. Let's go full screen with F11. I don't always recommend editing this file in your file browser. But what we're going to be doing here is quite simple. So the chances of making a mistake, as long as you're careful, will be, um, they shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So we're going down to the bit that says world's data here. And what we're interested in here is these two sets of values environment min temps and environment max temps and what these relate to is the kind of temperature at sea level of your server um, during the daytime um, throughout the year so as you probably know from your general settings you can choose when your server wants to start in terms of a time of year or you can get it matched to the local time the actual time in the real world of your server um, and daisy knows this and then daisy will adjust so we have january february march april may june july august september october november december so for example in january the minimum temperature it can go down to minus three and the maximum temperature you can go up to three so it's pretty cold this is degree centigrade by the way so that's pretty cold and also if you get higher up in terms of altitude it can get colder as well so you need to watch out for that and obviously if your character is wet um, and they've got crap clothes on they get more affected by the cold so what you could do if you wanted to make it easier you could do something like actually change that to zero there instead of minus two change that to say one there um, and then we could change that to one there so it's not actually getting that cold in fact we would want to change that one probably to one there as well so it's cold but it's not really really cold and that would make it easier for your survivors on your server to survive now you could make it colder so we could go down to minus five minus ten don't go too mad <laughs> You know, don't put like minus 50 or something because it will probably break the server but you could go down to like minus you could go down say 10 degrees that would be pretty cold 10 degrees actually i would probably say go down an average of five degrees for each month so three would be minus two zero would be minus five five would be zero one would be minus four seven would be two one would be minus four that sort of thing and go through and do that and that will make a significant difference to how people have to work on the, the server in terms of 
making sure that their clothes are always repaired and not damp and not wet and also starting fires to give themselves the heat buff and all that sort of stuff again especially when they're at altitude so northwest Chernus or towards the south of the Livonia map once you're happy double check that you haven't like deleted any commas or anything like that anywhere save the changes restart your server and your server now is much warmer or colder for your survivors okay hope you found this video useful if you have hit like once you want the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon